Alright, so I'm trying to install the Cinema 4D. That's what we are going to be using for the 3D text for Photoshop. It's because it's quite easy and then also it's very lightweight. You could use Blender, but Blender is something else. Blender can slow your machine down some way unless you have a very good machine. So I just want us to use this. But then if you have any other software you want to use, that is also good. That is also good. There's nothing wrong. You can use it. All right. So we are going to use this and then um, just right click it and then run as administrator. Then click on yes. And then just watch it install. Um, it's going to give you this. You can just scroll or right, nothing. Just click on continue. And then um, let's call it Seth K. Bunny, the name. And then um, <laughs> let's just say Madina. And then let's just say Ghana, Ghana. Not really important, guys. Not really important. Just type something there. And then click on continue. And then click on cinema 4d and then click on continue and then um, features optional blah 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 click on the application click on continue and then don't you don't need to print this but then i think you need to come down here and click on i have read and accepted the license click on continue again and then let's see where do you want it to install so i can see it's going to go to my program files and then the folder is going to be maxon and then this is where the all the installation is going to be and this is great this is awesome it requires um, this and space available is that really true let me check and see okay so this is it <laughs> am i All right, so it requires 592 megabyte, and then I have 50, 59 gigabyte. And so that's good, guys. You see, like I said, that's good. This is not gigabyte; it's megabyte. And so that's good. So don't create startup. I need a start menu um, only for me, for everyone, anybody that wants to. Um, okay, so I'll click over here, and then create shortcut as well, and then click on continue. So. If you're wondering how you're going to get this particular software, you don't need to worry at all. I am going to leave it in the description for you because um, you're my friend, right? <laughs> of course, of course, I'm going to leave it in the description for you together with everything you will need to install it. I actually wanted to install it for you to also see so that you know that this is the exact version I'm using. This is not a very advanced version. I believe this is uh, Cinema 4D 19. This is an old version, but this can still do the trick. Uh, we are not going to do any advanced stuff. If you want to do all those stuff, it's okay. You can purchase it. Cinema 4D actually comes with a cost. like Just like the Photoshop you are also using comes with a cost. Okay, but you, you manage to use a free version. If you are using the paid version, that's good. But if you are using the free version, the same way um, Cinema 4D also comes with a cost. But then we have access to the free version as well or the crack version and so if you're not comfortable with the free version kindly purchase it and then we can still continue all right so i'm going to pause here I'm, i don't want to talk too much and then once it's done installing we would move on from there all right guys so it's done installing let's see what it's saying the installation has finished successfully start cinema 4d okay so start cinema 4d and so this is the interface and so you can see how fast it is how fast it is my machine is not that much can't take a lot i'm actually even recording whilst i am um, doing this Photoshop 3d is also um, a headache Photoshop 3d is a headache it's not something you can use for professional work and you and I we are going to do professional things and so we got to use a professional tool right and so this is what we are going to be using now I want to keep this video short I want to show you just a, a little bit of what we'll be doing okay so basically we can we can do many things over here we can just come here and then maybe come and look for text right and then once our test appears we would um let's see 
<laughs> you let's click on the text here all right and then let's type over here let's just say set k k bunny right and then let's click somewhere here now we're going to have it like this okay so let's see let's see let's see where can we go to just want to show you something real quick okay and then um, let's see all right so something like this but then this is just a basic basic 3d design we are going to be adding more lights to it i'm going to show you how to create a light room itself i'm going to show you how to create advanced text how to add color to it material textures and how to even bring it into photoshop how to get rid of the background how to save it where to save it i'm going to do all those stuff you are really going to enjoy this guys and so see you in the next tutorial peace